unusual way. I say that, and of course, cybersecurity as a topic might be unusual here today, period. This is not a cybersecurity conference. This is Future Water World Con Congress. This is the Disaster Expo. But cybersecurity matters to everyone. Every organization, every company, every group, anyone who has an email address or a domain name or a computer or an email cares about cybersecurity. When you're an organization or a company, you care enough to put money into cybersecurity. You put personnel and time into cybersecurity because you want your data and your systems, you want your operations, you want your revenue all to flow. And when cybersecurity goes south, none of those things happen. So what we're gonna talk about today is the theory behind what my company, Level 6 Cybersecurity, is doing to help strategy development in the cybersecurity world, in particular strategy development with a focus on cost benefit, with a focus on ROI, with a focus on outcomes. We're chasing after ways to use all the new technology that's out there in the world of machine learning, artificial intelligence, using data that's out there freely in the world to help organizations that need to be secure do so in the most cost-effective ways possible, where cost counts not just dollars, but also time and personnel, true and overall cost. We have an approach to that problem that we think can help everyone in every industry, in every domain. And that's why we're here today. Because I could be at a manufacturing conference, I could be at a consumer packaged goods conference, a, a retail and hospitality conference, it's the same message. Everyone needs to be secure, but everyone needs to control and manage and try to optimize how they chase after security but no one necessarily has the tools to do it. The ways we go about it and have gone about historically are not ideal. That's where we come in. We're trying to make a brand new, we have made a brand new approach to how to optimize how you go after cybersecurity in any organization. So quickly the agenda, we're gonna talk about the ever-growing challenge of cybersecurity, which most people don't need to hear much more about. Everyone knows it's bad. We'll touch on how bad it is and why. We're gonna talk about AI. Now, generative AI is the name of the game in the news right now, right? I know that around this hall, a lot of the vendors here today have been talking about how AI is being used in their tools, in their products, in their software, to help what it is they do work better. We're gonna talk a little bit about the fact that AI has been in the cyber world for a long time, for more than a decade, in many different tactical applications. Then we're gonna talk about cyber strategy, what we mean by that. And we're going to, more specifically, talk about why every single organization has one. Every single one of you that are here, if you're part of an organization, if you work for someone, if you volunteer for a group, whatever it is, your organization has a cyber strategy. It may not be a good one. It may not be an effective one. It may not be a cost-optimized one, but you've got one. We're gonna compare the sources of those strategies, where they came from. We're gonna talk then about what we're doing the Worldwide Cybersecurity Lab, as we call it, and business poly intelligence, kind of like business intelligence, but different. And then we're gonna wrap up by talking about how all this comes together to help organizations. Okay, so this is the how multidimensional and challenging cybersecurity is slide. Most of you, I'm assuming, know this already. There's major, major complexity inside the world of IT, information technology, information systems, networking, data, already. When you add on top of that the fact that securing all of that data, all the systems, everything from physical networks to wireless, everything from Internet of Things devices and drones and robotics, uh, industrial control systems, all the way through to laptops in your cell phone that's in your pocket right now, to things like conference screens and smart TVs, the complexity in all the areas, human-wise, operationally, and technology-wise, just keeps ramping up. At the core of all that is something that most people in IT know, but I'm gonna assume that not everyone in this audience is IT, because this is not an IT conference. You guys are here for the Disaster Expo, you're here to talk about water-related issues. The dirty secret that not too many people know outside of hardcore IT so the reason cybersecurity is so bad and so challenging is that almost none of the tech that we use in information systems in the world, almost none of it was designed to be secure. All the technology we use from email to TVs 
to the internet, to Wi-Fi, all of those were designed to be fast, designed to be compatible, designed to inter-network, designed to be uh, dynamic. And after the fact, security was added onto those technologies. None of them were designed with security in mind. The internet was not designed with security in mind. And ever, almost everything we do focuses on the internet, internet working. Wi-Fi was not designed with security in mind. HTTP and HTML, all things we use to surf the web, were not designed with security in mind. All these things were bolted on. All the security aspects were bolted on after the fact. The race upward of technology's complexity and advancement far exceeds the rate of increase in security chasing after the fact. And it's a, it's a losing battle for those in the security world because the tech moves ever so fast. And security is literally always trying to catch up. That is a very tricky place to be. And it's why we are where we are. It's why we always see breach after breach after failure after failure in the news, no matter what industry you're in. Um, the only difference is in some industries it doesn't hit the news as much, but it's out there. So it's really multidimensional, it's really challenging, it's really expensive in people and in tools and in time to chase after security. Further contributing factors, along with the complexity, you got extremely motivated attackers. Who wants to make a guess right now? If you were to, I don't know, maybe we'll just do it as a show of hands. Do you think that total global cyber crime right now is above a billion dollars a year in revenue? Is it above 100 billion a year in revenue? Is it above 500 billion a year in revenue? Is it above a trillion dollars a year in revenue? It is, it's above a trillion. It's way above a trillion. They're estimating in 2023, global cybercrime revenue is gonna be $23 trillion. 